Hey everybody, welcome to Z3 Programming. My goal for every video is to create informative and interesting videos that teach you how to code. And for your best viewing experience on YouTube, I recommend that you watch this video in 1080p. Alright, let's get to it. Today I will be going over C Sharp basic operators. The three operators that I'm going to discuss are the unary operators, the binary operators, and the ternary operators. Okay, unary operators basically have one operand, binary operators have two operands, and ternary operators have three operands. Let's get into some examples of these. Okay, I'm gonna create a variable integer and it's gonna be set to one, the value of one. And I'm gonna write it to the console so we can see what value is gonna be displayed. See, I'll run this, execute this program. As you can see, it is a one currently. Now I'm going to show you the postfix of the unary operators. I'm gonna add two plus signs and let's see, we're gonna run this and see what the value is. Oh look, it's still a one. I wonder why. This happens because the value is assigned to the integer before those two plus pluses. So it gets assigned to one and then it adds to the next number. So that's why it's still showing as one. But here's a prefix version. And as you can see, the two plus signs are before the one, and now it's a two. So that one gets increased before it is inside, before it gets printed to the console. As you can see, the postfix, those those um, plus signs are added after afterwards. And on the prefix, they're added before, and you can see the difference what that does to a variable. So gonna go ahead and comment these out and I will go to the next operator which is a binary operator binary which will have two operands involved I'm gonna create an an integer variable I'm gonna call it my bank account and I'm gonna say I have zero dollars oh actually that's not that accurate let's make it more accurate five dollars I, I got about five dollars in my bank account and then I'm going to create another integer variable. I'm going to say, call it Will Smith's bank account. I'm going to have it over 9,000, over 9 million, something like that. That's probably too big for an integer value, so I'll just have it here. This is 98 million. Okay. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? Um, yeah, let's, com let's write out a comparison and see if my if Will Smith's bank account is greater than my bank account I'm gonna put my bank account is less than Will Smith's bank account execute that that is true huh not surprised okay I'm gonna comment this out next we're gonna go over the ternary operators I'm gonna copy these variables from my previous example and I'm gonna uncomment those just to make it a little bit easier I'm gonna create a boolean variable what should we call this um, am I am I broker am I broke compared to Will Smith sorry <laughs> that's all I can think of right now I'm gonna equal that to my bank account less than Will Smith bank account then gonna add a question mark true colon false this is how a ternary operator looks if it's true it will show true and if it's false it will return false so after the question mark you want to put those two conditions I'm gonna write this out to the console and it is true my bank account is less than Will Smith's bank account so that was an example that was just an easier that's kinda like a, a quicker way to do a if then less than 
uh, conditional statement here I just switched it the other way around see if my bank account was greater and it said false so let me switch it back I'll go ahead and comment these out and finally we're just gonna go over some of the most common operators that are used some listed below are the arithmetic operators which are pretty simple plus minus multiplication I just added too many multiplication let me erase that division modulus if you're not familiar with that that basically returns the remainder of an integer value the decrement sign the increment sign which increases and decreases an integer by the value of one uh, the next section are relational operators the double assignments which is basically just checks of two operands equal the exclamation and the equal sign check if they are not equal the greater than less to sign you guys know that greater than equal to less than or equal to we all know that stuff it's pretty simple uh, let's see and then the next section are logical operators the double ampersign if both operands are non-zero, then the condition is true. The OR, the NOT operator. In the last section, simple assignment operators, equal sign, plus equal, minus equal, multiplied equal, div divided by equal, modulus equal, and that's about it for the operators that the most common operators that you'll use so um, if this video was helpful please leave a like leave a comment and if you want to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching